Andy from Ellen's Tables. I'm out and about and I want to show you some update on Mostert's Mall. And uh, it's been a while, so I think there's been some improvement and some progress on this historical mall here in Cape Town. Now, if those of those of you who haven't followed me, I've done a video before and where it burned down. There was a devastating fire here in Cape Town on the mountainside on the slopes of Table Mountain and it destroyed the restaurants and also this mall. And it's of significant value here to Cape Town because it's part of the history of South Africa. And I want to show you what it looks like now after some work has been done and how they progress. So let's have a look. This is Rondebosch. It is part of the uh, area where the students live. A lot of residential student apartments. And it's always busy, crowded. And we are here on a Saturday afternoon and this is what it looks like here. Very quaint, awesome place to be at. And uh, also a lot of trees as you can see. Beautiful. And here's the Baxter Theatre. It is the Baxter Theatre there. And here we're passing from Rondebosch into Rosebank and as well as Mowbray. Some apartment buildings, student apartments close to University of Cape Town so that's why they have these apartments here or as we call it in Cape Town the flats beautiful church building more apartment buildings there and I think it's mostly for students so they rent them out and charge them a fee now we're getting into Mowbray it's the Mowbray police station and here we go, let's go up to Mostert's Mow They've just been on and they're busy with the mother itself. Hello. Work on the, the window. Yeah. Beautiful woodwork up there, patch has been done, scaffolding the crossbar for the mill itself. So we'll come out by that aperture there, that little opening hello oh 
definitely all be sorted out. Yes. Beautiful. New fetch. Clean up, cut, sorted. In time for summer, hopefully. for YouTube and uh, I was here I think a year ago when this thing burned down all the fire and then I'm doing some progress on it yes I can't hear you absolutely it is the truth yes so I'm want to do find out what are you doing and is it okay if I can come in there and okay thank you thanks Okay folks, so we're going inside and I'm going to speak to that fellow there and get an idea what the progress is all about. Hi. Hi. Hey, hi. Yeah. Okay. My name is John Hammer. I'm the chairman of the Friends of Mustard Mill and we've got a, a rest, restoration team. I'm on, I'm, I'm on that. And we've got an architect and we've got a man doing the machinery and we've got a finance guy. Okay. And we, in the, probably about three quarters of the way through restoring mustard oil. Awesome, awesome, yes. Okay, so what is this? So this is the wind shaft, the new wind, wind shaft okay. made out of one piece of timber. And this is where it goes through the gable at the top there. Yes. And that's the bearing. When you go in there, you'll see there's a stone that this Oh, on. I see. And at the back, there's another stone. So this is the wind shaft. The wind shaft, and okay. And then these over here are the sail stock. Okay. They've still got to get the woodwork put on them. Oh, to I make see. Them into the sail. Okay. But you only do yes. half because half of this has to go through these holes over here. Okay. okay. So the sails. So the yes. next time the crane comes, they're going to be picking this up and we're going to feed it through the front. Yes. And then they're going to be taking the sail stock, which will have half the woodwork done on them. But the half that hasn't had will go through these holes yes. over here, so they, they form yes. the arms of the sail. Okay. Amazing, that's and good then work, yeah. Millstone. We're getting hard got damage from the fire there over there. Okay. We bought a good second hand pair in the Netherlands with the oh. car funding that was done there. Yes. And the Miller, our friend in the Netherlands, Sven Berbe, has already got them there and he's fixing them all up. In Rotterdam, and they're going to come with the sail top. Yes. So the cloth has gone yeah. Those yes. are the only two things coming from the Netherlands. Okay. All oh. the rest we've done ourselves. The food awesome. like a plant. Yes, that's good, eh? That's we good. were very lucky that yes. um, UCT surveying department came and did a 3D scan inside the mill six months before the fire. Okay. Because there are no plans for the mill at all. Yes. And that yes. gave us measurements for the different parts of the machinery inside the mill. Oh, that's awesome, yes. So you've got Wonderful. to remember that the roof is not a simple structure because the yes. whole lot has to be able to turn around. And yeah, let's the see, whole yes. Roof roof. Yeah. So that so old thing turns. On the 7th, we're going to put those, those are called the long grades. Yes. And once those are attached, then we can actually try and turn the roof. Oh, the I see. Yes. That. So that yes. should happen in about two weeks' time. Okay. Good work. Good, Good work. Yes. Um, that's the bearing that the wind shaft will rest on in the front. Yes. Yeah. It's a piece of granite that was made by the old stone masons Yes. Like that. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this is quite they haven't done this progress. inside yet. The next yeah. thing that's happening inside is the beams are going to go in. That's why they haven't plastered over there. Oh, the beams I are going see. to go into yes. the wall. Yeah. And then once the beams are in, they're going to plaster around and then put the floorboards on it. Oh, and okay. Two sets of, there's three floors. Three and floors, set of stairs, yes. Yeah, and another set of stairs, yeah. Okay. And then the millstone's gone the floor above us. 
And what we're going to do with the old little stones is we're going to let them into the floor over here. Yes. So we'll always be in That's it. Okay, that's awesome. Yes. So this is the brake pole over here. That's what you use to put the brake on. And yourself has already made them, and those are bits and pieces of the brake over there. Okay. Um, and you will see at the end there, our emblem is going to be a Scotty. Yes, I see. I see. Is that him? Okay, it's yes. A, got, I've had four Scotties that worked at me. I've worked at the mill since 1995. Oh, I see, and yes. And I've had these, the fourth version of a Scotty working. Awesome, at yes. Mill. Yes, so I remember there was a cockerel. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It used to be a cockerel on there. Yes. And that was from the Dunning Company in the Netherlands who didn't help at this time. They had changed hands and they even lost our plans. So oh, we had to start from yes. Those yeah. over there are the wedges that will hold the sail stocks into the mortises of the, of the wind shaft okay. that I showed you. Yes. So you don't screw them in, you wedge them you in. Wedge them, okay, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then it's um, kind of put it in there. Yeah, then it's right. tough. Yes. It has to be, you can't yeah. move at all. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And if you look yeah. up, you'll see the brake wheel over there that was made by a carpenter Oops. in Elton. Um, yes. A oh, I see, there is, yes. yeah, yeah. Down. yeah. And then this here is the vertical shaft, mm. which was the old tail pole that Andy oh, rescued and he yes. made it into the vertical shaft. Okay. And the, not the metal you're seeing inside the mill here is what we rescued from the fire. Oh, yes. And that's been reused and a lot of that is from 1796. Blacksmith's sure. work from 1796. Oh, that's awesome. We haven't used all the old nails and things again. That would be Possibly. Yes, yeah. So these are yes. what's left yes, of the sails, so that we've got some sort of oh. pattern to work with. Okay, is this where it bent? This? Yeah, this is where it bent? Yes. Yeah. 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 But this, you can imagine, once the thatch got a line, every all of these years is wooden. Yes. And once the doors burnt, this was like a furnace, like chimney. Yeah. So it was just oh. a huge big fire. Did you get footage of the fire? No, no, I never got footage okay, of the fire. I came here at 6 o'clock oh. and I've got a one photograph of the flames in the window. Oh, wow. There was a whole fire down over there in the mm. town. If somebody had wet the roof when that fire was in the trees there, it wouldn't have burnt for that. Yeah. There was a fire running around that didn't do anything. Put it, and yes. And the other is a big mess of this being in there. Yeah. Oh. oh my and word. Yeah. The, 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 the mill, this whole estate belongs to the people, to the, yes. the state. Yes. It's part of roads of the estate. That's why they're on houses all along the way. That's why the mill is still there. Yeah. So these are all part of roads of the estate. Um, and that used to be a cabinet minister's house to Mill. Mm. You can take a picture over there. Yeah. And that old gable you see in the front is mud brick there, eh? it's just, it's, and that should have covers over the top of it to them, but uh, oh, yeah. two windows are strained over there. Sure. So are they, they going to they're restore they're trying to, well, they, they don't want to, the government doesn't want to do it. Oh, the yeah. Department of Public Works is yes. hopeless. So what they've agreed to is to try and get a custodian, somebody who will yes. take it over and, and restore it and run. Yeah. Uh, looking for the right well it's not part of our breed you know my we the mill That's is ours. It, yes, yes. And we have looked after most of the mill since 1990 yeah. for friends of us well we've got no money when they restored the mill in 95 we got money from the government and that was the last time mm. we ever got any money so the rest of the time okay. we've raised funds as the friends of us yes. we've never had ownership of the mill the mill belongs to the state mm. but we run it as a, as a volunteer yes. organization. This over here you're looking at is the threshing floor. Right? Yes, that's where that's they used right, to run yes. those horses around yeah. and stamp the kernels out of it. Mm. Did you ever come here when it was working? No, no, no I haven't. No, it's so only many when people say, "Oh, it didn't really work," because it went once a month for 25 years. <laughs> we opened up and we ground mm. wheat into meal, and we had oh, a pan, yeah. the meal there, and we always had bread inside yes. the meal. Okay. The children used to love it. Yeah. We'll be back there. We're hoping April 23. 23, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. I'll just take a walk job. around. Yes, no, I don't want to keep you out of your work here. No, you must yes. Okay, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.
Okay, folks. So this is part of the wood that's been salvaged here, and that's gonna go up there, right? Yes. Awesome. The garden has been neglected here because of the devastating fire. And as we just heard, this is the threshing floor. This is where they used to, in the center here, they would have a, a wheel with extending lines and then the horses or the donkeys, they would walk around here in order to thresh the wheat. And, and I believe that before this happened, they had a bread, they made bread here and we could have come and eat. So, well, I suppose when it's ready, as we heard in 23 next year, April, um, they'll probably do the necessary and we can enjoy some good bread. I'm quite glad that I could meet the chairman of the Queens of Master's Mall and that we could get some more info and how it's progress so far. Yeah, so we hope that uh, everything will come together and they will be successful to restore that to its former glory. Well folks, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Ciao.